that's it. Enter phone number to send avatar. Okay, what the hell are we doing here? <laughs> We're dressing up our little avatar. Hmm, let's see what looks nice. That looks nice. Definitely red hair. Uh, we're gonna go with long. Yeah. Eyes. Go with green. Hands. Skin color. Give her some color. Ooh, a dress. Hmm. Okay, I like that. That looks really nice. <laughs> what the hell am I talking about? Okay, now who do I send this to? Send number. What's my? Oh, I can send it to myself. Once I figure out what my number is, let's see here. Phone numbers. My number five two three five five five. Can I do that? Can I drag this? No. Then what was the last part of it there? Four three nine nine. See what this does. I sent it to myself. Yay! Okay. All right. Well, I guess I should do another one, right? For, one for everyone. Uh, we're gonna do dresses. Theme on dresses. We'll do blonde next. I like long hair, so we'll go with that. Uh, we'll do. Oh, there we go. Done! Now we gotta send that to somebody. We'll send that to... Who else can we send it to? Savannah! 404555. And then what's the rest of the number? 4478. There we go. We're going to send one to everyone. <laughs> Start. Ooh, that looks nice. We'll do that one. Give her some accessories. We'll go brown hair this time. Wow, that's kind of crazy. like it. Cool. Send it. Oh, I gotta get a number. Okay, hang on, hang on. Yumi! 075. 021. 5855. Cool. How many more do I need to do? Okay, let's go with pants and a top. We'll go nice black hair. And there we go, that looks fashionable. Done. Send it. Is this how I'm supposed to send it? I'm actually maybe I didn't send the other ones properly, I don't know. George. Five two three five five five. They all start off with that number, don't they? Well, the ones from Nancy's list, I guess. Two five eight three. Okay, that's sent. One more. Ooh, I'll go with green this time. Nice little. Hmm. Maybe not green. <laughs> I'm saying this like it really matters. <sighs> hmm, what goes nice with orange? There, yeah, that looks good. We'll go purple. Whoa, that's crazy. I love it.
Cool. I think this is the last one to send, I hope. Bess. 8733. No, wait. It's 7373. 8733. Okay, so what does that do for me? I don't know. Oh, I got messages. <laughs> More goofy photos? Yay! Uh, what are we doing here? Uh, oh, I get it, I get it. Hang on, hang on, let me think here. Settings... No. Camera. I oh, will take a picture anyways. Yeah, saving. Okay, how do I get out of here? Menu. Phone. Options. Yay, there we go. We'll give everybody a new picture. Oh. Crap, I screwed it up. Yes? Alright. Savannah wants me to translate that article for you. I don't know what it is you said to her, but whatever you did to get her to talk about that paranormal garbage, you need to knock it off. I can't promise that. You really don't get it, do you? This ghost stuff isn't a joke, especially not to her. Since I'm the one stuck picking up the pieces after she gets too wrapped up in one of her cases, I'm telling you, leave it alone for her sake and yours. All right, so what are we going to do here? Let's see, let's see. What happened to Savannah? What happened to Savannah? Why doesn't she work with paranormal cases anymore? It's not something she likes to talk about. I gathered that, but can you tell me? When we're traveling, I spend weeks with her just touring on buses, long plane flights. We talk a lot. I know everything about her childhood. Her best friend's dog's name from when she was five, her favorite ice cream flavors. She's very chatty. Then what has she told you about? Nothing. Not a single word. I've asked, and when I do, she just goes quiet and excuses herself. She's never told me to stop bugging her about it, but I can tell that she wants to. That's why I don't want you bothering her about it either. Whatever happened when she was writing the second ghost book, it really got to her. Second ghost book? Second ghost book? I wasn't supposed to mention that. It's a secret, and it's not done, so don't think you're going to get your hands on it. I don't even know if she still has the manuscript. She had me tell her publisher she burned it, but I don't know if that's the truth. Okay. I really need a copy of Savannah's book. Can you help me? Sure. Bookstores are a great start. Or the internet is helpful, but I'm really more of a brick-and-mortar person, honestly. I suppose you could also go the books on tape route. TV's Ralston Palpers does an excellent job with the text. Really makes it come alive. No, I meant, could you send me a copy? Oh, nope. But thank you for asking. <laughs> wow, what a jerk. How long have you been working for Savannah? Started a few years back as a fill-in gig during spring break. Eventually she needed a long-term assistant, and the job was just too weird to turn down. Too weird? Why? Bye. See you later. Bye. All right, so off camera, I did send myself a bunch of uh, those pretty little texts. Aw, Bess says super cute, because I remember I texted her. Nice pic. Thanks, Nancy. Fabs from Yumi. Way to make a Stalin avatar. Fash phone fashion software is here to keep your whole contact list looking fashionably fly. All right, uh, what do we want to do here? We want to go back to phone. So I have set 
mess up. George, we need to change to that one. I actually have no idea what these characters look like, so pardon me if I get it wrong. Save that one. Yumi. Make her this one. Nancy, why not? Let's see here. There's Nancy right there. Yay, avatars for everyone! <laughs> Alright, cool. Alright, we're done in here, I think. We have ourselves all avatared out. Uh, we could probably call. I'm using the phone a lot lately. Hi, Nancy, what's up? Did you get the avatar I sent you, Bess? Yeah! Did you get that paper doll I sent, George? I loved it. Yumi sent me a great picture of you two. Oh, isn't that cool? I love the poor Cora booth here. I'll show you where a really great one is if you get done with your mystery before we have to head back home. I'm working on it. I promise I'll see you guys soon. What do you guys think of Yumi? She's so much fun. A little pushy sometimes, but I feel like I've known her for years and we've just met. She seems to really dislike the Ryokan. Do you think she'd want to see it closed down? Well, I can't say for sure. She does really seem to resent that place, but I'm not sure if she'd go as far as trying to get it shut down. Mm. I don't know. Suspect number one. I'll let you get back to work. Bye, Nancy. Bye. Okay, let's call, uh, not Savannah, Yumi. Okay, let's go. We're going back. What time is it? It's got to be getting late. We probably should retire for the night. Hopefully there's no spooky ghosts. Uh, I think this is where we want to go. Yep. Take the long route, but we're there. Uh, I'm not sure if we can maybe... Oh, no, just the two of us still. Hello. Hi. Wow, there's quite a loaded question there. How does your grandmother feel about the Ryokan? It's her whole world. She loves it more than anything or anyone she's ever met. What does she think of Yumi not working here? It's a very sore subject for her. And honestly, I've heard too much about it already. What do you mean? Every day I'm here, making sure all is well. It would just be nice to hear her at least mention all of the work I do. Just once. I'm sorry this is nothing you want to hear about. Do you want to manage the Ryokan? Right now I have to, but it's not that simple. Why not? It just isn't. Okay. Hello. Do you think Yumi is ever going to come back here to run the Ryokan? If she knows what's good for her. Why doesn't Yumi work here at the Ryokan? She's very... My mother used to call her a free spirit. But that's a nice way of saying that Yumi's selfish and doesn't want to help. Do you and Yumi get along? No. Okay. How long have you been fighting? I'm not sure, but she probably picked a fight with me the day I was born. Wow. Did you and Yumi ever get along? Of course, but really. She really, she was a very good big sister to have after what happened with our mother. But soon enough, she was back to being the selfish, manipulated brat she is today. She doesn't seem very bratty to me. She's nice. When she's using people to get what she wants, she must want something from you. Wow. Some more bento boxes to be made? From what I understand, the Ryokan has quite the reputation for being haunted. It is true that we have the reputation. Has that been difficult for business? It is nothing you need to concern yourself over. Can you think of anyone who would stand to gain if the Ryokan went out of business? No one I know. We all depend upon the Ryokan. Even Yumi and Lentaro. Okay, what so, about someone else, oh. on the outside? No. 
There's no one else. She's always so curt with her answers. I should go. I'll talk to you later. Okay, see ya. Alright, so what am I doing here? Um, I guess I should just go to sleep, right? No, I don't think it was this way. I always get mixed up here. Don't touch that. Okay, okay, relax. Uh, come on, Gibbs. You think you'd know by now? What the hell? Where's my cursor thing? Did I really screw it up? Okay, let's just save the game. I'm kind of not sure what I've done here. Alright, why do I always get this screwed up? Whoa, what the hell's going on? Uh, what's with the doors? Not too creepy. Hey, is there a buddy in here? Hi! What do you think of Yumi? She's pretty much the older sister you want to have. She's cool, she's adventurous, she's a pain, but no matter what, she's got your back. Although, man, can she be bossy? <laughs> I'm sure she's already put you to work. Yeah, a little. That bossy thing is just her special way of saying, I am your boss, now do what I say. So, you grew up next door? My dad and I moved in when I was about seven. Why do you spend all of your time here when you live just next door? Never got my room decorated right. Plus, this place has always been more fun. And Miwako's here. And I've got my workshop. Okay, I'll talk fine. to you later. Peace out. Peace out. He says peace out to me, does he? Oh no, sounds like another unhappy customer. I should listen to what's going on. When we first walked in the door, my wife told me she had a bad feeling about this place. But no, I told her she was being unreasonable. Well, whatever it is that's going on down here, we are not putting up with it anymore. That thing you left in our room. No one should ever see something like that. I want my money back. There's nothing there. And I want to see this place closed down. Y you'd never get away with something like this in Sydney. Sir, please, we are not haunted. Oh, please yourself. Okay, what happened? Do you want my help or not? Are you going to continue to be all snarky? Okay, I don't remember this book here before, but... That was the last customer, wasn't it? Yes, Nancy. It's just you. <laughs> So, make yourself comfortable. We are all here for you until something happens to scare you off, too. I don't scare easily. I've heard that before. Look, I'm sorry I shouldn't be upsetting you with all of this. Please, you're my only guest left. Let me at least make sure you have a good trip. Maybe you recommend us to your friends. I still want to help. Help? You want to help? Look around you. This place is beyond help. It was spooky and lonely before everything that happened happened, and now... Why do you think Yumi got out of this place as soon as she could? People come because they've heard it's haunted. They come here to be scared and even they can't take it. I'm sorry, Nancy. There's nothing you can do here. There's always something Nancy can do. Help yourself and find somewhere safer to stay. No. Nancy is not going to do that. Okay. I should get to work now. It's almost closing time, isn't it? Oops. No, where am I going? Hey, 
And then there was one. <laughs> oh no. Okay, well. Let's get out of here. It's time to maybe call it a night. Okay, so yeah, this is the right place to be. 28, nope. There's a lot of empty rooms here, folks. Alright, where's 24? 4 is supposed to be an unlucky number here. I wonder if that's a coincidence. No, I'm guessing that is not a coincidence. Oh yeah, there's our mattress there we need to sleep on. Nope. No spooky things out there. There's our uh, calligraphy that we did with the lady. There's our luggage. More candy bars. We need more candy bars. Uh, let's see here. I want to look down here. Oh look! There's our origami! We did this already, didn't we? Yes, we did. Okay, let's um, call it a night. Settle in for the night. Set our alarm. I can't remember which time. Although, it's 1 a.m. I could sneak downstairs if I wanted to. Let's go sneak downstairs. And then we'll call it a night. Hello? Nancy here to poke around. How do I get back there? There we go. Oh, the cat's still here. Alright, so we still need the missing card for this thing. Yeah, we already know this. Hello? I wonder if Miwako hid the password somewhere around here. Yeah, we still need the password. Who's my favorite robotic cat? Suki Tate. <laughs> Alright, so we still don't know the commands for it yet. Whoa! Oh my god. <laughs> Guard cat is guarding. What? You have made a fatal error! Holy cow, that's the first time I've had a fatal error. Alright, cool. Fine, we'll leave the cat alone. We're gonna go to our bed. Spooky cat is spooky. That's the first fatal error. I had a couple of those in Ghost at Thornton Hall. Alright, get me out of here, please. That's the front door. I think this is the hallway I want. Fine, we won't mess with that cat anymore. Jeez. Alright, time to sleep, folks. Now, if I can remember what... I think it was 7 p.m. I needed to set, right? 7... 7.07. Yeah, that's what we're going to set it to. Go. can't set my alarm for then. I'll be at oh. the school. It's really late. I should get to bed. Yeah, yeah, I think we'll do that. Is there a reason why I'm outside? There's my alarm. More homework to do, I think. Maybe not. No, I still only have these two. Okay. Nothing on the balcony. 